Hello all you viewers, this is Ben C, and um, there are a few things I would like to address in this quick little video, uh, updates and whatnot. Um, so, I have, I guess I should start off with the first thing. So, I go to a technical school. And there have been kids um, who have been attempting to either bully me, antagonize me, peer pressure me, whichever. Um, so any of those kids, I know a few of them sometimes watch my videos and make horrifically inappropriate comments. Um, but... They, I just wanted to point that that out that, you know, for anybody who's being bullied and isn't sure what to do and thinks that it's the better, the better way to keep, the best way to deal with it is to keep it quiet and just ignore it and take it, don't. I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I was, I had been a bully and I have been bullied. I know what it feels like to be both ends, and neither end is good. The reason that I became a bully was because I was bullied, and I think a lot of the time that's what happens. And I don't think that some kids don't necessarily realize what it truly means to be a bully until sometimes it's too late. And for these kids, I know that they know mostly... But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I just want to let everybody who, who might be, let anybody know who might be being bullied, I want to let you guys know that don't, don't let them get to you. You should definitely tell a teacher. They, by telling a teacher or a trusted adult that will not hurt you. They will make sure that you do not deal with them again. They will, you know, it is illegal to bully someone. It is illegal. Which means that technically, the police can get involved, but that being said, that doesn't mean, you know, abuse the fact that, whatever, that someone's sort of messing with you once in a while. Bullying is a constant, and, and for, for definition, if, any, if nobody doesn't completely know what the meaning of bullying is, bullying is the constant sort of, sort of targeting, not, no, not quite targeting, um, sort of constant antagonizing Consistent, consistent and constant antagonizing and specifically picking out a person. Picking a person out of a group and antagonizing that person. Whether it be verbally or physically. Um, but, yeah. Um, I would tell, uh, I usually don't care when I'm talking about the bullies in my school. I don't care about privacy. But since I'm a small YouTube channel and I don't often make video, I don't make videos all that often and whatnot, um, and I don't want to have to, you know, demonetization and get my videos removed and, you know, all that sort of stuff, I'm not going to say names because I would like my channel to grow a little bit. And um, anybody who knows that who I, who, uh, obviously any of the kids that are bullies, they, you know, they'll never truly admit it, but, yeah, just, just anybody who's bu being bullied, don't give up. You, you always need to tell an adult. Tell someone you trust. Tell, tell someone. You need to, you can't hold that in because it comes around to hurt you, as it did with me, and... It isn't 
good for you for that to be the case you know it's it's not healthy physically or mentally i mean realistically more mentally but um yeah and then recently i thought uh recently i've had some informative news about a youtuber uh and some going ons um in that uh friend group with the youtuber and the two other friends um uh there was some i happened to notice in a few of the youtubers videos that um the one of the two creators was two original creators um uh um sorry uh what is sort of i don't know how to explain it exactly but um he, the youtuber sort of inveigled no not quite N not necessarily manipulated sort of i guess is a little bit controlling in some of the videos i noticed that part of him and i didn't think much of it and then recently i saw i stumbled across a video of one of the three main tu uh, tubers youtubers who uh, I had been actually wondering why he hadn't been in the channel recently, and apparently the reason being is that he quit. And um, uh, I then realized that, you know, uh, what I saw wasn't something that was just a coincidence. It was sort of a, you know, it, it was something that I realistically have seen before I noticed that because I've seen it before and had to deal with it before and I sort of feel the person's pain um, now obviously anybody who ha does this kind of stuff you know whether it's intentionally or not they kind of deny it whether as I said intentionally or not but now in some cases it's not intentional but you know being able to notice it and keep, you know, notice it and whatnot is good because you know that, you know, if you're a friend with a person who's like that, it's not necessarily the healthiest to be men mentally the healthiest to be with that person. Um, but, I mean... Not saying that that person couldn't be, you know, a good guy. It's just that if they are very adamant about being the sort of like controlling, then, and, you know, they're always getting you to do stuff that you don't necessarily want to do or you don't feel is right or appropriate or whatever, that is not healthy to be in. And I have to say that he, the, one of the YouTuber, the YouTuber that quit, I should say, I have to say that having stuck it up for, having st stayed with the channel to try to prove himself that he, you know, all the, I'm not going to get into details, I'll, um, write the name of the channel where you can find out the, what happened to him, or what happened between the channels, uh, the YouTubers, in the description, but, um, no, this, this is just sort of a, an update and whatnot, this is, yeah, um, the other thing that was, you know, it's, it's, it's not healthy to bully, it's not right, it's, you know, anybody who bullies, maybe take a step back if you don't know and you know if you're you know messing with someone constantly take a step back maybe 
and look at yourself and think, you know, have I, am I constantly making a joke about this person in front of them and could it be hurtful? Or could it be offending them? Or could it be annoying them? Or, you know, you might want to, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but there's an expression that I've always kind of felt was worth the knowing, worth knowing. And it is, think before you act. And, you know, be considerate. Uh, another good one is, treat others the way you want to be treated. You know, if you want to be treated like a, a piece of junk or a piece of crud, then whatever. But don't treat someone else like a piece of crud. It's one thing if you you don't care, but it's another thing if you're doing it to someone else. Now, as I said, some people don't realize they're doing it, but, you know, that's just sort of the thing. Now, I don't know how much phone, uh, time I have for memory, or memory I have in my phone, so uh, I'm going to have to say some real quick stuff, and um, yeah, um, there will be some videos coming soon, um, there's another channel I'm trying to work on make making, it is, uh, I think, uh, I can't remember, I'll put a name, uh, put the name in the description, as well of my channel, my uh, my second channel. I'm gonna try and link it to this one. But yeah, um, yeah. Go check out the uh, YouTubers that the YouTuber and his channel. I hope you can. I hope you support him, and I I definitely support him. I I think that he could have handled the way some of the things he did a little better when confronting when, when making when speaking with the main youtuber but i think for the majority he did very well um and so i just think you know try and support him if you can subscribe like his videos whatnot um but that's all i can really say um and that's just what i wanted to say uh, real quick so Thanks for watch. Uh, thanks for listening on on this video, anyways. Oh, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure the comments are appropriate uh, to this video. And uh, yeah, see you next time.